So first I'm going to take all these plastic parts off of these and then we can melt them down with the torch. Alrighty, so we got all the rubber bits out with uh, with a pair of pliers, and here's all the lead. So now, the, now we just gotta make a mold and uh, get a crucible and pour it. So here's the size that I'm gonna make them. So I'll use that for like to make the mold. Should look something like that. Alright, so I got all these things uh, brass wire and uh, I got a little finish nail. I'm just going to put that into the table here. Just enough so it sit stays. Now you can just take these and bend them around the wire. Just, uh, Make sure that it's a finish now so you can still slide it off once you're finished there. I just make a whole bunch of them. Alright, now I got a whole load of them made there. Now I'm gonna take all these things and just pop them into all these holes. And then once we pour the lead, we'll just pour the lead around it. Alrighty, so we got our crucible here, we got a torch. And uh, you don't really need a torch, you could probably do this and uh, probably do it on your kitchen stove. But uh, you know, it's got a pretty low melting point. You do it over a fire, anything like that. And here we got our uh, mold to pour it in, so we're gonna get that done. Alright, so we've learned that Costco chicken cans have a plastic lining in them, didn't we, right, Kurt? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh no, no! <laughs> that was terrible! That's awful. Oh god, the humanity. Oh god. Sorry. We got one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, look at how good that guy turned out. Hold on. Don't drop it on my hand, please. <laughs> oh, wait. It's in focus now. Yeah. All right. Nice. Well, we got, well, I guess we got a couple there. So we'll cut this out, and then that part will uh, remelt. So this one here turned out pretty darn good. So we can just make a few more of these and we'll have some sinkers.